My first step, I chose my colors and then I applied the paint directly to the canvas. Then I used one brush to spread out my warm color and then I tried using another brush for my cooler teal color. Um, I also did not put my brushes in the water, which was a big deal to me. <laughs> um, but then I scraped away where I was going to apply my jellyfish. Um, for this part, I think I let the teal dry too much, even when I scraped away the little portion for the top of the jellyfish and the teal. And then here you can see me using a fork and another tool to scrape away their tentacles. Um, as I was doing this, I wanted a greater contrast, so I decided to see how it would look when I applied teal over and see if I can get more of the red underneath showing. But then I noticed that when I applied red, my magenta color over the teal, it did darken my teal and it created that duller value which I really loved so then I decided to apply more of that and then um, I really liked right there you saw where I scraped away and it started to um, show more a greater contrast so with that I kept applying more paint to then darken it and then get greater contrast after this, I went to let it dry for a while and then practiced with my oil pastels on my mini painting. And here you can see me blending purple and white together. And I really enjoyed how this turned out. So I definitely wanted to employ this method on top of my larger canvas to my other jellyfish. So here you can see me just blending and adding more details, creating a greater range of value. Once I finished with my mini canvas, then I um, looked at my reference photo and started applying values based on what I saw in my reference photo. So here you can see me applying white and also a little bit of red because there are pinky undertones. There are also other teal and bluish undertones so I made sure to add those as well. And I just kept layering and blending as I went along trying to get a lot of depth wanting some areas to pop forward and some to recede. Um, you can see with I when I added the red to add the shadows, just like I see in the reference photo, it was more color rather than darker shadows. I also used my oil pastels to help define edges more and create a greater contrast. As you continue to watch the rest of this, again, I'm just following my reference photo, um, smoothing out my values, making some tentacles appear like they are in front, making some appear like they are behind, defining my details. And then as I continue working, I do end up layering other oil pastel colors while I work. Um, and you will see that as the process goes along. Right now I'm still adding details throughout my jellyfish, still using a lot of white and red combinations. Here to get that teal color, I used a combination of blue, a lighter blue and a green to add to the one jellyfish in the back that isn't that red magenta colored jellyfish, but still has like the veins in it that are. And again, showing contrast, making some areas lighter, some areas darker. I decided to add some purple, red, and green to the background and then blended it together with the lighter blue to kind of give that undertone purpley or red color that was given when the teal and the red were mixed together because again I wanted to show greater contrast in the background like it was going back into the water whereas the jellyfish were coming forward more. So I wanted to pop out and make also some of the tentacles look like they were farther back compared to some that were more in the front. Continue watching along to see how I finish off this entire piece. I do just continue adding lines, a bunch of detailing, and then I actually add a little bit more to the background towards the end, 
which I don't know if I'm too pleased with that. I kind of wish that I only added the oil pastels to the jellyfish and not the background. So that is something that I will consider changing for when I do teach this to my high school students. Here you can see is where I started adding oil pastels to the background to brighten it up. I didn't like how that looked brightened up, so then I decided to tone it back down. Um, but again, I don't think I will do this when I do actually teach the lesson, so I will probably redo this for an actual demo video. And then at the very end of this video, you can see the final photo of my jellyfish underwater scene.